It's a condition that six million people in the UK have to live with. Irritable bowel syndrome is the name that doctors have given to a collection of otherwise unexplained symptoms relating to a disturbance of the large bowel. And it can be torture for those unlucky enough to suffer from it. Um, mostly I'm really bloated, kind of all the time, um, quite painful sometimes. I suffer from diarrhoea sometimes, constipation other times. Um, I have to avoid dairy, which is very difficult. It makes going out for meals and kind of eating at people's houses problematic. Um, I have to wear baggy clothes, which um, makes me feel a bit rubbish when all my friends are kind of getting all gummed up and going out. Um, it's just a nightmare. But there is hope, and it comes in the form of a new clinical trial into probiotics. With me is microbiologist Dr Nigel Plummer. We'll talk about the trial in just a few seconds. But first of all, what actually causes IBS? IBS is a syndrome which affects about 6 million people in the UK, and it's characterised by symptoms such as bloating, uh, pain, and also either diarrhoea or constipation. The um, problem is, is that we don't actually know what actually causes uh, irritable bowel syndrome. But what we think, the one thing that might actually cause it is an imbalance of the microflora that we, that we have in our uh, GI tracts all of the time. There are good bacteria in that balance and there are not so good bacteria. And what we feel is that when the not so good bacteria begin to, to, to overwhelm the good types, then we start to see symptoms of IBS occurring. What have the trials revealed then? The trials were conducted at uh, Sheffield University and what, um, what, what we did was we took 52 people who had been diagnosed with IBS and we div divided them in, into two groups. One group took the new probiotic uh, which contained a unique uh, lab force strain and the other group took a uh, dummy capsule daily for eight weeks. What in fact happened is that those who took the uh, probiotic within the eight week period they saw their uh, IBS symptoms significantly decrease during that time, sometimes in as little as two weeks after actually starting. And what was even more uh, surprising was that at the end of the eight week period that those who had been taking the uh, probiotic, once they stopped taking it, that their symptoms started to come back. How significant do you think this trial is going to be for IBS sufferers? This is the first time that a probiotic has been shown in the UK to be successful at decreasing IBS symptoms. The new Lab 4 strain is now commercially available as the product Proven and so provides a significant step forward in the treatment of IBS. Dr Nigel Plummer, thank you very much indeed. So if this trial does provide the answer, 6 million people in the UK have reason to be hopeful.